Have you ever imagined massive destruction taking place over a small area? Well, it could have happened in 2024, which would have led to a bigger war if the defense system of Israel wouldn't have been strong. It was in April 2024 that Iran fired over 120 intermediate range ballistic missiles, along with 170 drones and approximately 30 cruise missiles at Israel's territory. But 99% of these missiles or drones failed to reach their targets and were intercepted and destroyed during their journey. Just the same way, when Hamas attacked Israeli territory with hundreds of missiles, what saved Israel was its strong allies and defense system. It was an essential reminder for us about how important the defense systems are for a country. The American Missile Defense System, Patriot, in Ukraine has also proven quite successful. And this happened against Russian missiles. The interceptors fired from American destroyers in the Red Sea have been very successful in neutralizing several anti-ship missiles from Houthi rebels. The success of these systems in recent conflicts shows that the market for these defense systems has increased and will continue to grow. Militaries worldwide will likely invest more in developing or buying these advanced and expensive systems from other countries. The Israeli defense missile system is an iron dome. The American missile system is the Patriot. The Russian missile defense system consists of the S-400 Triumph. The S-400 is considered one of the best surface-to-air long-range mobile defense systems. It consists of four parts. The first part is the long-range surveillance radar, which can detect 300 different targets within a 600 kilometers radius simultaneously. The prominent feature is its protection system, which works against jammers. Modern aircraft are equipped with jammers that can evade enemy radar radars and detection systems, and for this reason, they work wonders. The long-range radar of this missile defense system is mounted on a heavy truck. The second component of the S-400 system is the command and control system, and this is also placed on a vehicle. When it receives signals from the surveillance radar, it interprets and gives instructions accordingly. The third part of this system is a launch vehicle that has four missile tubes. They can hold either the same type of missile or four different types of them. A complete S-400 battery system can be equipped with 8 to 12 launch vehicles. One of the greatest advantages of this system is that it has different ranges selected that can intercept the target. For short range, it intercepts any target with a maximum range of 40 kilometers. The medium range interceptor missile can destroy targets within 120 kilometers. The long range missile can target up to 250 kilometers, and the very long range missile can target up to 400 kilometers. Another benefit of having different ranges of interceptors is that if the target gets close, it fires a short range missile instead of a long range one, thus making the cost less. The fourth component of the S-400 missile defense system is the engagement radar, which is also installed on the truck. This multifunctional radar guides the missiles fired from the launch vehicle to engage with the target. It works in conjunction with the surveillance radar and can guide 160 missiles simultaneously. Additionally, some optional components assist in detecting and tracking low altitude targets. Overall, the S-400 system operates such that the surveillance radar detects the target and sends its signal to the command and control system. The signal is then processed to determine whether the object is from the enemy country or a friendly missile or aircraft. If it is identified as an enemy object, the system first estimates how close the target has come and where it can be intercepted. After this estimation, the required range missile is fired from the launch vehicle and the engagement radar guides the missile's trajectory. So, that was a about the working of the Russian missile defense system. Countries such as Saudi Arabia, Qatar, UAE, Iran, Egypt, Iraq, and Serbia have also expressed interest in purchasing the S-400 system. Here is an interesting fact. Any country that wishes to purchase this defense system or any other defense hardware from Russia faces strong opposition from the United States. The US tends to impose sanctions on those countries as a form of deterrence, a tactic that is often used. Similarly, the US warned in India against purchasing the system and threatened sanctions. However, India did not change its decision and managed to avoid American sanctions. This exemption was due in part to a bill presented by Indian American Congressman Ro Khanna, who argued that India's purchase of the defense system was crucial to countering China's aggression in the region. Given China's position in the anti-US bloc, the bill was passed in the US House of Representatives, allowing India to escape the sanctions. To wrap up, in a world where air threats are present, countries have developed advanced air defense systems to protect their skies. The S-400, Patriot, and Iron Dome are among the best of these systems. But what could be enhanced in these air defense systems that could bring more advancement in protecting each country against the other? Comment below and subscribe. Thanks for watching.